welcome dear student to our youtube channel today our topic for learning is ipc nomenclature in the previous class we have completed some questions belonging to the ipc nomenclature and in this class we will discuss some questions more you by using the rules which i have mentioned in the previous recorded sections so let's start and the first question i am writing two questions at a time you will try after that i will give you the answer and uh, after answering the question you should mention it in the comment section so that i will check that you have done correct so the first question is in front of you it is the simple type question in which i am expressing the carbon and hydrogen is the first question for you and now i am moving for the second question so try it and giving the second question to you and the second question i will elaborate all the rules while answering the questions for you so you just try first after that i will give you the answer with the reason and it is one the different type question that means it is another type question so you should, you should try both the questions and uh, after that we will move for the answer so we will go the first question so in this case you have to decide what i have told if a carbon chain contain only carbon and hydrogen only carbon and hydrogen then it is a pure hydrocarbon chain but when it contain when it contain carbon hydrogen and other atoms at a time at that condition it may be a functional group so anyone who wants to be code in ipc name he first should have the idea open the functional group that means this is not a normal hydrocarbon it is a functional group and this functional group belongs to carboxylic acid after knowing that it is a carboxylic acid one should have the idea that it its ipc name is alkanoic acid it is alkanoic acid and alkanoic acid has its uh, ips general ips name so if a functional group contains carbon atom and it uh, it is a monovalent then the number one position always starts from the functional group carbon atom that means the number one position will start here from the carbon atom of carboxylic acid in this way going for the second carbon and in this case we have two options that means we can go down or uh, to uh, left side but according to rule we always select longest continuous carbon chain giving priority to the functional group we have given initially priority to the functional group after that we will select the longest continuous chain because if you will move to downward or down carbon it will the chain length will be four because four carbon will be included in this compound but if you will move to this side it will include five carbon that means it will include maximum carbon chain length and in this case this carbon chain end does not contain any number so it is considered to be as a substituent group and this substituent group belongs to alkyl group and the alkyl group has the formula cn h2n plus 1 if you will put here 1 so it will be c1 2 into 1 it will be 2 plus of 1 it will be ch3 and 
In this way, we can tell that it is nothing but the CS3 which is present here and this satisfies the general formula or the formula for alkyl group and the alkyl group, you know that alkyl group has the suffix YL. In this way, the name for the, uh, name for the substitution group will be methyl because alkyl group has a suffix YL in which you need to know that the single carbon, the single carbon has the word root that is meth, there is meth and due to the satisfaction of the, gen, of the formula alkyl group, the suffix becomes methyl and methyl here is located at the number 3 position. So the locant for the alkyl group is 3 methyl here and the total number of carbon here 5 is present so the name 5 carbon has the word root uh, that is paint and by using the word root paint here we have pentanoic acid uh, in the general IPC name of the alkanoic acid we have pentanoic acid and uh, it is the complete IPC name of the given compound if you have been correct you have a great idea and uh, moving for the second question in which you have to first open the chain uh, by having the concept on valency so in this case what i am doing for you i will just open the structure so first remember to write ch first because it, the bracket uh, contains uh, your methyl two methyl groups. So if you will put your CS, so mark that CS has uh, in CS carbon has satisfied its single valency and it needs to satisfy its three valency. And you just open the three bond to satisfy the valency of the carbon here the carbon because carbon needs four bond to satisfy its valency. So we have opened three bonds and you know they add methyl group has its valency uh, 1 because it is alkyl group so we will just put here methyl group and methyl group if you will put here methyl the chain will progress in this direction so you can put here any direction also and CH2 hold 2 you know that when the carbon is present without any substituent when carbon is present without any substituent in an organic compound uh, in, in that case what happen the methyl groups uh, is will be replaced in methylene group this is methylene group and uh, two ch2 molecules are present here and in this case the branch part or the not the branch the terminal part contains cho in this way the organic compound is opened as that of the first question so you can now give uh, ipc name for the aforementioned compound and you know that here all hydrocarbons are present but what happens here here only uh, the only the carbon atom of the functional group that is aldehyde is present and the aldehyde contains the carbon atom in its functional group so it gets the number one position now moving for the numbering to select the longest continuous carbon chain and it is the rules to calculate the longest continuous carbon chain and you, you can move here to downward or forward uh, uh, both the cases will give you the longest continuous carbon chain and in this case what happen it is also the methyl group and it, satis it will satisfy also the alkyl group formula which I have mentioned how to check in an organic compound so in this case what will happen it will the alkyl group and the name of the compound will be 4-methyl because 4 carbon contains the alkyl group that's why the locant of the alkyl group is 4 and it improves the methyl group so the name of the compound will be 4-methyl and it is alkanal so the name will be pentanal because alkanal has alkanal is the IPC name for the aldehyde here 5 number of carbon is present in the compound that's why phi carbon is represented by the word root paint and l is the suffix for the compound that's why 
the name of the compound is pentanal in this way we have found out the ipc name for the given compound so if you have done correct have mentioned it in the comment section moving for the third question and you should write it first before answering and the third question is a polyfunctional group containing organic compound that means what will happen here my just write it down after that you will try to answer and i will give you the answer for the question number 3 and also writing another question for you which is the fourth question try the third question and mention the correct answer for the question in the comment section so the fourth question is here and the fourth question is also from polyfunctional group but in this case what will happen we'll just mark that it is the polyfunctional group related question and we'll just slowly moving for the higher level questions which will go which also have many types but the we'll understand slowly but completely and in this case you should mark that it is a pure hydrocarbons but this end this end is a non hydrocarbon end and it is the functional group for alcohol and it is also the functional group of aldehyde so in this way we have found out that uh, both the organic compounds or uh, both the compounds belong to two different organic compound that means it is the aldehyde it is the aldehyde and it is the alcohol so i have told that uh, polyfunctional group containing organic compound i am i have mentioned in the question similarly you can mark that it is a carboxylic acid and it is the two types the two alcohol group are present in the compound that's why i have mentioned that question number 3 and question number 4 belongs to polyfunctional group that's why we are going to give the priority rule here or we are going to use the priority rule use in this case you know that a priority rule means a senior functional group uh, is given priority in an organic compound in comparison to the junior functional group that means aldehyde here is the senior functional group and alcohol is the junior functional group and the junior functional group always treated as a substituent in the presence of senior functional group and the senior functional group is given priority in an uh, uh, organic compound during ipc name chain selection and numbering that means in this case you can mark that it is the senior functional group so i am giving number 1 position to this carbon atom of the functional group moving over the second carbon and third carbon we cannot go down because we are always giving numbering to the carbon atom not the other any atom and you will move to the fourth number sorry fourth number here so in this case we have numbered the carbon chain and what i have told the we will use the ipc name that is uh, alkanal because aldehyde is the senior functional group here and the prefix for the junior functional group and alcohol has its prefix that is hydroxy hydroxy is the hydroxyl is the prefix for the uh, hydroxyl is the prefix for the uh, alcohol that's why we will use here the prefix for alcohol and suffix or ipc name for the aldehyde and that's why the name of the compound we always treat the substituent group first after the main chain that's why the name for the substituent group here will be 3 hydroxyl 3 hydroxyl here functional group we use the prefix hydroxy and the main chain contains aldehyde so the name becomes butanal name becomes butanal giving priority to the functional group of aldehyde similarly moving for the fourth question in this question what uh, two types of functional group is present but the functional group is three here two types but three functional group that means one carboxylic acid and two alcohols 
That's why the number one position is given to the carbon atom of the functional group. And now moving to the second carbon, third carbon, and the fourth carbon is the fifth carbon. And you mark that third and fourth carbon contains identical substitution groups. Why I have mentioned it is a substitution group because in presence of senior functional group, the junior functional group are treated as a substituent. And in for substituent, we always use the prefix. And the three and fourth carbon, three and fourth carbon uh, contains the substituent group that is the junior functional group, and uh, it is two identical substituent groups is present. So the name becomes three four dihydroxy. Three four dihydroxy. Di means it expresses that identical substituent groups are present. So three four dihydroxy, and the name for the carboxy acid. Is alkanoic acid. That's why the name for the compound will be pentanoic acid. Name for the compound will be pentanoic acid. In this way, we have uh, completed questions from polyfunctional group. So, moving for the fifth question, and the fifth question is here. The fifth question. And just I'm writing here. You should think the IPC name for the compound and name the compound in the comment section so that I can check your answer. The fifth question before you. Fifth question. You should try first. So mark that I have mentioned in the previous class that the ends express the carbon. It is the end, one end. It is the one end. It is the junction means it is the also carbon end. It is also carbon end. It is also carbon end. So I am just you should mark that one, two, three, one, two, three. If from any direction, if you will give numbering, that means it is a carbon chain end. It will be C S three. The also end it will be C S two because two bonds is already present. It also it it contains. Three bond one two three, so it will only contain C H C H because one two three and fourth bond is here and it is the C H two here. It is the C H three here. So in this way we have converted the line structure into carbon representation, a carbon atom representation. In this way, if you number from one two three this side to this side, the number will be same. You can number from right top to bottom. One two three, one two three, and four five. In this case, we have found that the functional group, as it does not contain carbon atom, the minimum locant or minimum position is given to the carbon atom which contain the functional group or which carry the functional group directly. That's why the numbering is three here, not the one, and because it is not the carbon end, it is the middle carbon. So we will try to give minimum locant. To the functional group, which does not carry carbon atom, that's why the name for the compound will be for alcohol. You know that the IPC name is alkanol. The IPC name is alkanol. That's why the name for the compound will be three uh, pentanol. Pentanol is the name for alcohol, and uh, you know that uh, for alcohol. It is the locant is three, so we have given three pentanol, and it is the complete name for the compound. In this way, you can do IPC name of different compounds. So, if you understand uh, this uh, lecture, uh, please subscribe our channel, share the channel with your friends, and we will practice more questions and different concept in this channel in the coming lectures. So, thank you.